All right, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is actually hydrochloride gas bubbled into water, and in this case, to a maximum concentration. So concentrated hydrochloric acid is HCl aqueous. It's HCl gas added to water until I can't dissolve anymore and that's called concentrated hydrochloric acid. And conch HCl, as we like to call it, is 37 weight percent HCl. The rest, the rest would be water. And given that, we want to know how many kilograms of HCl there is contained in a drum of 5.0 gallons of concentrated hydrochloric acid, the, the aqueous stuff. We know, or we're given, that a liter corresponds to um, just a little over a quarter of a gallon, and the density of concentrated hydrochloric acid is given as 1.2 grams per mil, so it's heavy stuff compared to water. It's quite dense. I shouldn't say heavy, it's dense, more dense. And so it's written on, in different ways on labels as 37 weight percent HCl, 37 percent HCl by mass, or 37 percent W over W weight per weight um, HCl. These are all different ways of saying the same thing. Okay, so how would we answer this question? A lot of people are, are asking me, where do I start? Do I start with where do I start? Do I start with the density? Do I start with the 37, 5 gallons, 37 over 100? Where do I start? Well, let's think about what this question is asking you to do. It's basically asking you for, it, it, for the corresponding mass of HCl in 5 gallons of solution. So it's giving you the solution and it's asking you to determine the corresponding mass of one of its components. And so you can see that in general we, are, we need to convert you know, from volume of solution to a mass of the component. Okay, so we're actually going to start with the five gallons. But before I actually write out the number, let's uh, talk about the calculation pathway and write that out. So we are given the volume of solution. What I'm calling the solution is the concentrated um, HCl aqueous. Okay, that's what I'm calling a solution. So I'm I have a volume of solution, um, and it's going to be in gallons. And I want to change that to um, to to liters. And probably to mills. Okay. So I have a volume of solution, and then make a, a bigger arrow for the step. So I have a, still a volume of solution, and. I want to convert that to a mass of solution. And I want to do that in grams. And then, once I have a mass of solution, I will find the corresponding mass of one of its components, in this case, the mass of HCl. And I will, it's asking me for kilograms, so I will find it in, first of all, in grams, and then I'll convert that to kilograms. And that's my plan of how to do it. So let's begin. We have 5.0 gallons of solution and I need to convert from gallons of solution to 
liters of solution. And the conversion factor I'm given is that one liter is equal to 0 0.26 gallons. So now I have the volume of solution in liters, and now I want to just convert liter to mil. And I know 1,000 mils is one liter. Okay, that is my volume of solution in milliliters. And now I want to convert to the corresponding mass of solution in grams. Sorry, wrote it on the wrong on the wrong side. Not that too quickly. Keep it neat. Milliliters of solution. And we're given the density. 1.2 grams of solution per mil of solution. So that's my mass in grams of the solution. And now I want to find out the corresponding mass of HCl. I'll do it again. <laughs> so when you start doing silly things like that, folks, it's time to stop, isn't it? So I'm converting from grams of solution to grams of HCl. And I know that it's a 37 weight percent, which tells me that 37 grams of HCl in 100 grams of solution. And I'm just going to add one more. Can't really see it, so I'm going to clean this up. Because it was asking uh, for the answer to be in kilograms, so times. I want to get rid of the grams of HCl and put in kilograms. Equals. Just a little check because this is multi-step. Uh, gallons of solution. So gallons goes out with gallons, liter, liter, mils, mils um, of solution grams of solution. So now I have grams of HCl and I'm converting my grams to kilograms of HCl. So that's my answer in for units. That works out. And I just grab the calculator and do the numbers. So we have 5.0 times 1000 times 1.2 times 37 and that's that's one divided by 0.26 and divide that by 100 and divide that by 1000 and we have an answer of 8.538 kilograms HCl. Remember this is in five gallons. And then I'll just tidy up the number of sig figs that I should have on it. And it should be two. So it's just going to be 8.5 because that three is not high enough to push that to a six. Kilograms of HCl. So there are 8.5 kilograms of hydrochloride, hydrochloride HCl in 5 gallons of concentrated hydrochloric acid.